Hello folks, this is Harley Tuck with MI Squared. I have a brief preview for you of the new OpenEMR 5. Version 5 is a major update release containing some significant advancements in capabilities and also some changes to its look and layout. I'll follow this video with others showing version 5's major improvements and differences from version 4. Now one caveat, I'm working in mid-January 2017 from the development version 5.0. The final release may have some minor differences from this video, but there shouldn't be too many. Okay, so here we are at the login screen of OpenEMR 5. You get a glimpse of the new theme and layout, but just like the rest of the application, the basic function is still the same as in older versions. So let's log in in the usual fashion. Visually, the first difference you might notice is the menu along the top. And then you see the tabs along the top of the main panel. Keep an eye on how those tabs change as we do things. I want to show you right off that although the new tab theme is version 5's default, it's easy to change back to something more familiar. Go to Administration, Globals, on the Appearance tab, find the Layout theme, or, yeah, the Layout, and change that to Frames from Tabs. And then on the General theme, change that to Open EMR. Now you notice some of these settings you need to log out and log in after changing them. Come down here, click on Save, log out and log in, and when you do that, you will see, voila, good old open EMR. But we're here to look at the tab layout and the new theme of, M of open EMR 5. The top navigation menu has virtually all the same items on it as the original left navigation menu and the mouse over drop downs correspond to the submenus of the old left navigation menu. Administration, other, on down here, okay. Reports, these are all the reports. Miscellaneous. Okay, the pop-ups menu item here has been moved up from where it used to be on the on the old version at the bottom of the left navigation menu. It does all the same things. The About menu item puts you in touch with the OpenEMR wiki, various places. User manual takes you to the user's guide for OpenEMR 5.0. Online support uh, takes you to OpenEMR.org's website. And the Acknowledgements button takes you to the Acknowledgements and Thank Yous to the contributors to the project and also some legalisms. Okay, let's take a look at the beh behavior of these tabs. You notice that when you click to open a new tab, a new module, it appears in the foreground and lines up along with the other tabs of the other modules that we've already looked at. Okay, oh, and, and this is the patient finder, which you'll see is the same old patient finder, and it works just like it always has. Let's open Administration Globals. Let's open Administration Facilities. Okay, now you notice that when you open modules from the same main menu item, they occupy the same tab. Okay. And if you want multiple tabs to be visible at the same time, let me zoom in here. You click on the tabs padlock, and that brings it to the foreground. Click on the other tab that you want up, the, the padlock, and you notice that they share the available screen space. Now if the tabs that you have open simultaneously exceed the browser window width, you've got the slider along the bottom that takes you to where you can see the tabs. And each individual module tab has its own slider to give you access to the whole module. 
Now if the tabs module has done some activity that needs refreshing, you can click this little refresh icon. Or if you want to just uh, close the tab, click the X. Or if you want to keep it visible but not in the foreground or not splitting up the, the screen display, click the padlock and then go click any of the other tabs. It'll put it back into the background but it'll still be here. So this has been just a quick look at how to get around in the new tab interface that ships with OpenEMR5. As you've seen, the familiar version 4 modules are still there and they work as they always have. But now a lot of the interface issues that we've come to work around have been remedied. And the new look of the new version is certainly updated for the 21st century. More videos and documentation are on their way showing the new features of OpenEMR5. These include an updated patient flow board, some new reports, a global search function, and several new billing and calendar options. Enjoy exploring OpenEMR5, and remember to log into the forum and leave your feedback. Thank you very much.